Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Jan Marini BioClear Face Lotion. If you are new here, my name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Jan Marini describes this as a resurfacing solution that combines three acids to minimize the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, redness, scarring, enlarged pores, and uneven texture. You may find this at janmarini.com, germstore, skinstore.com, just to name a few. This lotion retails for $80 and you do receive one full ounce. Jen Marini recommends that you shake this prior to use. You do want to use this sparingly morning and evening on dry skin. Jen Marini also suggests that you start by using this once per day and that you gradually increase to morning and evening use. I would personally go even further and suggest that you start once every other night until your skin builds its tolerance so that you can use this nightly and then morning and evening. This does come in lotion and cream form. The cream is rich and she is thick and it is better suited for dry, very dry skin types. The lotion, however, uh, which is the one that I love and use, is better suited for my normal and combo skin types. Although the formulas are texturally different, they contain the same active ingredients. You will essentially be targeting the same concerns, but with a texturally different product. Within this formula, we we see glycolic acid, salicylic acid, azelaic acid, and sodium hyaluronate, the salt form of hyaluronic acid, which works in deeper layers of the skin to hydrate and plump. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that improves the skin's texture, the look of fine lines and wrinkles, and it also minimizes the appearance of sun damage. It's also got a smaller molecular size than lactic acid, which is not seen in this particular formula, um, but we should know that glycolic acid can sometimes sensitize some skin types. Salicylic acid, a beta hydroxy acid, is an oil soluble exfoliating acid that also helps to stimulate cell turnover. This is an acid that benefits blemish prone skin as it helps to minimize breakouts, whiteheads, and blackheads. And finally, we see azelaic acid. This has got anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, making it good for rosacea, acne prone skin, my sensitive skin types, and it's also a melanin inhibitor. I actually began using this particular product on February 2021 as I tested the Jan Marini skincare management system. I will link my final review to that video up above in case you missed it. Would love to, you know, just learn more about the skincare management system and perhaps see um, just how good my skin looked around that time. Although I did experience some tightness and flaking as I introduced this particular product to the skin, the textural improvement of my skin virtually happened overnight. I attributed the textural improvement to the BioClear face lotion. I did experience a slight tingle upon application during the introduction and the reintroduction uh, to this product. I reintroduced this product to the skin on September 30th as I was concerned with the texture of my skin. I no longer had siesta around, unfortunately, um, so I did go ahead and apply the lotion over top my Good Molecules Brightening Serum. The following day, my skin woke up feeling smoother and looking brighter, and that was the skin nightly. After a few weeks, I followed BioClear with the Jan Marini Age Intervention Retinol Plus. Now, typically I don't recommend using acids in retinol, but 
the Jan Marini skincare management system actually calls for that and it does yield very very good results on conditioned skin of course. I also reviewed this particular product so I will link that review up above in case you missed it. Perhaps you're interested in learning a little bit more about this product as well. When I use this combo my skin wakes up feeling smoother, looking plumper, and I, I do want to mention this, however, that this combo definitely works the best with the Jan Marini Siesta Facial Serum. Prior to introducing this to the skin, I have used a number of acid blends on the skin, mostly toners and serum-like products. My skin is definitely conditioned and it tolerates acid blends very, very well. I do get microderms and I do get chemical peels every so often, so my skin is definitely used to acids. This, however, is quite possibly one of my favorite acid blends because it is results driven. I like that I can layer this over Siesta Facial Serum or my very inexpensive Good Molecules Brightening Serum to further treat my skin. I can reach for this year round, rain or shine. I feel like the results that I get are the same any time of year. My skin doesn't feel particularly drier or more oily depending on the time of year that I use this. However, I must note that I did experience some drying and flakiness upon initial introduction of the product. My overall results have been smoother, brighter skin. The pores along my forehead appear much smaller. And although I did experience some flakiness and dryness upon initial application, that has not happened again. Since the reintroduction, I have not experienced any redness or irritation from using this product um, even when I'd use this both morning and evening sometimes you know followed by the age intervention retinol plus here for better results this definitely works the best with the skincare management system however I am able to achieve some results by using it on its own this layers nicely under multiple SPFs if that's what you choose to do. Um, as Jan Marini does recommend that you can use this morning and evening. I have used this under water-based moisturizers, the transformation cream as the skincare management calls, and other oils. Um, and it still yields the same results without any pilling. Uh, my favorite way to use this is definitely with the skincare management system, um, but it has worked very well without. My favorite time of day to use this is definitely nighttime, and I do use five drops per application. When I showed you all my demo, I did use three drops in my initial application, and then I did use two drops on this half of my face. Um, so five is just about enough to cover the skin with a very nice layer. I would recommend this product to anyone that can tolerate acids very well or is perhaps tired of using skincare products and is not seeing results. As previously mentioned, if you have normal and combo skin, the lotion works the best, but if you have dry, very dry skin, the cream works the best. There are a lot more ingredients in there because it is a cream base, but essentially the active ingredients are the same. She is very, very thick and she still layers very, very nicely under the Jan Marini Transformation Cream. My pros here that there are very minimal ingredients. There is no fragrance, no essential oils, and no drying alcohols. Uh, my con here is that this does contain sodium hydroxide, which can be uh, sensitizing to the skin. Another con I have is the packaging. Um, this does come in a dropper form. This is the second unit that I have used of this, so I have already emptied one. Um, but I just wish this wasn't a pump form. 
um, you can see that there are there's like product just kind of starting to build up here along the rim and although not a deal breaker I'd almost rather see this product come in a pump granted you you are not able to customize the amount of product that you use in a pump but I feel like opening and closing this effect the strength of the active ingredients it could be a very minimal effect but I mean I've, I've, I still experience results with the older unit and this new unit I feel like I would just rather see this in a pump not in a dropper form because there's just buildup around here already. I am rating this a 9.5 out of 10, docking a half point for the dropper. It still works fine. If anything, the dropper again helps you further manage the amount of product that you use to further customize your, you know, your routine. Um, this again is a results driven product that I highly, highly recommend if you are dealing with textural issues, uh, fine lines, wrinkles, redness, scarring, and enlarged pores. Let me know if you've tried this lotion or cream in the comments down below. I'd love to learn a little bit more about your experience using the BioClear face lotion. That is all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye. If you are new here, my name is Loud Car. Uh, or you'll, I feel like